Today we will understand some advanced if function that is nested if function. In this data here we have name of students and their respective marks besides them. Considering the marks we have to derive the result of the students and our criteria for the same is that if the marks are greater than or equal to 90 then scholarship if marks are less than 90 and greater than or equal to 75 then distinction marks less than 75 and greater than or equal to 35 should result in pass and fail otherwise in our earlier video where we learned how to use if function we had only two criteria that is pass and fail but real life situations are not so simple so to handle multiple criteria we learn how to use nested if function in this video so stay tuned hi i am your tutor and welcome to my channel learn in 5 minutes so let's start nested if is nothing but one if function within the other what we will do is we will first write separate ifs for each criteria and then combine them together so it will be easy for you to understand. In the cell C3, let us consider our first criteria that is scholarship and distinction. So our if function will go like equal to if open parenthesis B3 greater than or equal to 90 comma scholarship within double quotes comma distinction within double quotes in this function our true value is exactly what we want that is if the marks are greater than 90 then scholarship but our false value is not what we wanted we will update this with other if in some time in the cell d3 we will now consider second criteria that is distinction and pass so our if function will go like equal to if open parenthesis b3 greater than or equal to 75 comma distinction within double quotes comma pass within double quotes now we will cut the entire formula of this cell and replace the false value in our earlier if function with this so now we have one if within the other and this is what we call as nested if we are yet not finished we have one more criteria to manage in the cell D3, we will consider the third and final criteria that is pass and fail. So our if function will go like equal to if open parenthesis B3 greater than or equal to 35 comma pass within double quotes comma fail within double quotes. Now we will cut this formula and replace the false value in our nested if. And we are done handling all our criteria. Finally. We will copy this formula and paste in our remaining cells. And now we have result of all the students depending upon their marks, considering all our criteria. But as I said, real life situations are never simple. And there might be times when we might have to handle multiple logics along with nested ifs. And this can be done in combination with AND function and OR function. But that's for another video. If you found this video useful, please like and share with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, do it right now and press the bell icon besides the subscribe button so that you don't miss on any new videos that I upload. Thanks for watching.